guys, it's you, Kitty, with a news update. For all of you who weren't able to make it to Comic Con, don't fret. There is great news. Vess has some books left from the convention. So she put together an exclusive limited supply bundle for all of the first Celestial Pulse fans. So, if you want to get your copies of issues 1 and 2 signed, along with some exclusive prints and a free trinket, send a message to VesseniaLindsay at gmail.com. Celestial Pulse Comic Con Signature Bundle for $20 plus shipping. Hey guys, it's Vess, and today I am back with another fan art. So, um, right, I'm doing a fan art, and I was basing this one off of Goku. And the reason why I did Goku is because uh, my husband and my brother's been watching Dragon Ball, like the beginning, how Dragon Ball originated, like Dragon Ball Z and all that. So, um, you know, I was... Um, I come in and out of it like I'm not gonna sit here and lie so when sometimes when they're watching I will watch and then sometimes I wouldn't watch so I was basically in and out of it because I have seen Dragon Ball when I was younger but um I started sitting in it more while they're, they've been watching it and uh we got we got almost to the last part where um you know Goku's older and stuff like that but uh, I like his cute little kid way, <laughs> like the way he looks when he's a kid. So I was like, hey, it'd be awesome to do a fan art of Goku. Because, you know, Goku, I do love Goku. Goku's like my favorite character. I think Goku's everybody's favorite character, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I, I seen him in um, this outfit. And this is basically the outfit that he's in when he's ba um, training outside of Master Yoshi. And he's like, you know, going around the world and stuff like that. That. so um I was like oh this is so cute and I you know I've my husband also has like a flip book of um the way Goku was when he was younger all the way to Dragon Ball Z so I'm taking a look at that and I was like I would love to do a fan art and see how it comes out so <laughs> um I did not stay like I did um I did do the basic way his eyes are you know I try to stick to the original but I did the coloring on my own, like what I felt was good for the coloring and I did my coloring style on it. So I was pretty much happy with, you know, the whole outcome, but I'm not going to sit, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie. I did, um, you know, I did take a look at the references that I do have and I just, you know, blended up the, I think that's GT. I'm not too sure, but the coloring style up above is more like GT Dragon Ball Z type. And the one below is more Dragon Ball. So, um, what I did was I did a blend of Dragon Ball and GT. Like, um, pretty much that. And then, like, with the darker hues to the outfit, like, more of the darker shading, I would just go over with an airbrush to, like, you know, smooth out the air, smooth out the colors and stuff like that. Like, he's more, um... I will say he's more, like, almost towards the bottom reference than he is anything. Um, this... Uh, this uh, commission, it, well, not a commission, but this fan art itself was, um, it wasn't too challenging. I actually had a lot of fun with it. It took me less than three hours, I would say. It took me three hours. It took me three hours and some change. Um, this video should be short because <laughs> it didn't take me that long to get it all um, situated. The um, I think the hardest part was the background, trying to figure it out. Being that I didn't get a reference, I was um, kind of struggling on it. So uh, my husband, he had made a suggestion, hey, you should take a look at uh, Grandpa Gohan's house. So I took a look at his house and I automatically, it just registered and I grabbed it from the internet, you know, and did my magic, I guess <laughs> you can say. Uh, I do love the way, it, it, guys, I love the way it came out. Um, I love the the style of it and how, you know, how good it it is. I guess this is like my style. <laughs> it's like a little bit of my style. So I was, um, I was so into it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I do like the Dragon Ball series. Uh, the Dragon Ball series would be my second favorite from Inuyasha because I was watching Dragon Ball Z and Inuyasha towards the times that I was learning how to draw. So... 
yeah that's basically how that's basically how everything is with me i don't know what do you got like what's your guy you guys favorite like anime or what you grew up with is i think that's the best way what did you guys grow up with like let me know in the comments below i would like to hear what you guys you know which anime did you guys grow up with like mine was dragon balls d it was um inuyasha sailor moon um what was it <laughs> it was gundam like gundam seed and all that um then when i got older it was like a little bit more cowboy bebop um then it was uh naruto and um then after that i just started springing out and reading mangas different type of mangas different type of um animes and stuff like that i was watching different type of animes and now i'm in the stages of i watch i i basically watched a lot of them that i can't even name <laughs> i can't name a lot of animes that i have watched um i'm gonna continue doing the fan arts i do like doing fan arts it gives me like a rest from uh celestial post because i have been sketching guys oh my god is getting lit is getting lit in celestial post i'm not gonna sit here and lie i'm the artist i'm sitting here i'm the artist the creator of it and i'm getting super excited and um now that i know where my book is gonna go towards is like i'm getting excited and i'm getting excited for you guys and <laughs> you know i'm continuing that but um yes um doing fan arts does help with um breaking off from commissions breaking off from celestial post and it just gives me like gives me my girly fandom type you know i'm girling out on um the the different type of animes that i used to watch and seeing it in my art style so it's like um i know you i don't know if you guys really enjoying some of the fan art that i have been producing but yeah um i also do fan arts with uh new upcoming stuff like for instance uh you know what is that uh eh, shelter <laughs> yeah so I do watch um, new things also. I try to keep up with the otaku world. That's why I follow Akadiris. So <laughs> I do um, I do keep up with my otaku-ness. So, you know, you guys, I, I want I want to like throw in these type of different type of fan, fan um, speed arts and stuff like that. So, you know, you guys could reminisce, you know, go back, <laughs> go back or um, actually be in the present. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's all up to how you feel about what it you know what the anime is or what the comic is or what the you know music video it is like i i want to like you know basically take you guys on a journey with it so <laughs> let me know what you guys think about that um it's it's a really it's it's really nice it's rewarding like towards the end like i rem i recommend everybody do fan art it's just really cool especially to see your favorite characters and your style and stuff like that it it brings it's just nice <laughs> it's just really nice i not keep saying that but it is um yes so i am watching dragon ball z guys i'm watching dragon ball we're gonna go into dragon ball z i can't wait till we go into dragon ball z and i guess I can't wait for that point because Dragon Ball Z was like the thing. Like Dragon Ball, I watched it here and there. I was like, hey, okay. But Dragon Ball Z was, it was the one. It was the one that really was, I was into it. Um, I drew characters from it. I even um, drew my my grandfather a Dragon Ball Z character that looked, looked just like him with a mustache and everything. So, you know, I was a little influenced by Dragon Ball. I was very influenced by Inuyasha and... Um, I'm not going to say I was influenced by Sailor Moon because Sailor Moon was just a, you know, I never really did fan art for Sailor Moon. I should try it. <laughs> I should try it um, and see how it comes out because I am, I don't know if you guys heard of it, but um, it is a new, uh, it was a revamped version of Sailor Moon. It's called Sailor Moon Crystal. I have been watching that. Um, I honestly like it, but um it's all about you know what you guys think about it uh you if you haven't seen it uh go on crunchyroll and take a look at it i um i honestly like it and then um now i'm starting to watch this uh thing called yuri on ice so i kind of like that one too a lot especially the story the story's getting really good so yeah guys i think you guys should uh check those out if you haven't um you know if you haven't checked them out Crunchyroll is my best friend. I'm going to say that. <laughs> Crunchyroll and Google is my best friend. So, um, Crunchyroll for watching anime and uh, anything that has to do with, you know, otaku-related stuff. And 
Google for references. <laughs> so, you know, um, I suggest you guys go ahead and take a look at that type of stuff. Um, I was watching another anime that had to do with like food and stuff like that. I don't remember the name, but hopefully I do a fan art about that and that'd be kind of cool. Um, I still have a lot of commissions coming in. Uh, it's a lot of them. <laughs> so you guys will be seeing some commissions here and there. Um, right now in the point of my personal life i'm going through a lot of stuff so uh videos are like i usually do two videos a week but right now i'm just sticking to my sundays like i usually do my regular sundays um i'm not too sure what's gonna happen but um you know i'm gonna keep you guys updated and i'm gonna keep posting content and stuff like that so don't be scared guys <laughs> i will be here um i'm just you know going through some stuff so um Stuff is a lot more, you know, difficult and stuff like that. I have more time sketching than I do um, making content. So uh, that's all I have to say for that. Um, so, yeah, back to the Goku. Look at him. He is gorgeous, y'all. He looks so good. I love it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the bottom. I, I love the way he looks. Um, and he's just, he's just so amazing. <laughs> so, yes, that's it for today's video, guys. Um, again, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and sharing. You guys are really a good support for me. And, you know, hearing from you guys in the comments is a huge thing for me. Um, if you didn't hit that subscribe and you love what you've seen, hey, hit that subscribe. I'm still doing this type of stuff, guys. I'm still doing my videos. So, yes, hit that subscribe and become part of the notification crew Mo notification family notification everything <laughs> be part of the pulse <laughs> um and that's about it for all this stuff um again guys thank you and have an amazing rest of the day bye bye